I'm Steve Zark, Captain Steve Zark with the Tuscaloosa Fire Rescue uh, Service out of Tuscaloosa. And we're excited to introduce our new uh, tractor drawn aerial. It's the Aero XT with the uh, Senate 107 um, ladder on it. Uh, some of the nicer features that we've gotten on it and we were excited about was we were uh, interested in getting a compact vehicle. We wanted to keep it under 59 feet uh, to be able to maneuver around some of the uh, uh, tight areas where Tuscaloosa is the home of the University of Alabama and it uh, has different challenges as far as maneuvering and everything and this was, this was the ideal setup so after researching uh, all the different options out there for, for aerial apparatus we decided that this was one of the best ones the, the heavy duty aerial uh, and then the chassis uh, the cab. Some of the things that we wanted to do, feature on it was the bumpers. We didn't have the extended bumpers, so we wanted to have the shorter bumpers, which helps on our approach angle and departure angle uh, when maneuvering around. In our city, we have uh, a good many speed tables uh, and tight quarters with the university. We have a regional medical center and some of the other things, and the entrances and exits can be challenging to maneuver. Uh, and the, the features that this truck offers uh, it was was very inviting and very uh, very nice for it. We opted for the 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 doors that have the washout, the half doors, and then the uh, interior has all of the the features set up very uh, very user friendly. We've got the rear view camera for the driver to be able to to use the rear view camera. All of the switches are ergonomically uh, set up. They're in. Uh, easy to use locations, uh, it gives a broad field of view for the driver of the tractor. Uh, the short wheelbase of the tractor makes it very extremely maneuverable. The firefighter's seats in the back, we raise the rear seats up just a little bit for a little more comfort uh, for the firefighters facing forward, sitting in the back. One of the other things that we did is that we used the Federal Q uh, siren on the front to uh, help with tra traffic mediation. And we've gotten this on our, we've got two aerial uh, Aero XT pumpers that we ordered. We uh, incorporated the Federal Q on it, which is something we did, didn't have within the department. Uh, but we decided to go with this on this, and it also, we're going to have it on the two pumpers, the aerial, uh, the two Aero XT pumpers that we're going to have coming in uh, this fall. We've gone with all the wheeling lights for uh, not only their, uh, the clarity of them, and the effectiveness of them for safety, but it also goes with all the other ones that we have within our department uh, as far as for the warning signals and lights on it. When we work our way back towards the, tra the trailer, like we said, we've got the heavy duty arrow, uh, the Ascendant 107 on it. It's the first one on the, the tractor drawn aerial. We're really excited about it. One of the nice features of it is the capacity, the workload of it. We've got a 750 pound tip rating but it also allows 100 pounds of uh, extra equipment to go along with, with that. And that was extremely uh, important to us when it's uh, working uh, with the ladder. The waterway and everything is compact and tucked up underneath there, which allows it to nest very well in, on the trailer itself. The cramp angle of the, the trailer versus the cab is real good. It works up to operational up to 60 degrees of cramp angle and then when you turn it, it's got a turning radius that's even tighter than that, which is good for the maneuverability. We've got the rung lighting, uh, more wheeling lighting on the, on the, on the ladder to uh, illuminate the rungs for safety. The tiller cab in the back, we've got uh, the tiller cab has great uh, field of view, works real well. The, the relocation of the air conditioning and other things of the, of the, on the trailer make the ladder nest down very well. The low compartments on the sides were one of the features that was uh, very uh, useful in helping the, the tr tiller driver be able to see. We tried to incorporate some things in the areas that would be most useful for us versus a cascade type system on it. We've got bottle storage, which works out real nice. Uh, for having enough air to uh, not only support this truck but other crews on the scene. We've got the forward facing cameras to help in maneuverability uh, and, and safety as well for the tiller driver. Using the TAC 4 rear end, uh, 
tack force steering on the rear end here, uh, which gives a great cramp angle and also gives a smooth ride for the, for the tiller driver in the back. During the design process of it, we raised up the rear of the tiller cab four inches for a greater angle of departure and more maneuverability with some of the challenges that we have to overcome with our unique area with the University Regional Medical Center and the industrial uh, park and industrial area of uh, where the truck's going to be located. It's going to be centered on the University of Alabama, so it needed to be able to work with that. The rear end is also narrowed, uh, which makes it easier to maneuver and allows it to get into tighter areas uh, without any compromising of, of safety or anything like that. We've got all of our ladders stored inside the, uh, the trailer versus exterior on the trailer, which works out real well. Uh, the way that it was configured and the setup for it, it gives us the uh, required number of ladders that we needed for the truck, and but yet keeps the outside of the truck clean, neat and clean, and it doesn't obstruct any view of the, the tiller driver. They've got the rear view camera on this one as well, which the monitor in the tiller cab uh, helps with him when he's uh, backing up or doing anything else on it. Very effective. And uh, we, the, the illumination of the wheel and lights is, is exceptional uh, as far as lighting up a scene, being invisible, and uh, catching the attention of just the, the a, a, average driver uh, when they're going through and they and we're on an emergency run or anything of that nature. All right, we've got the, we have the uh, access to the tiller cab, the stairway here exposed here, and it's not recessed because that's where we chose to make the taper in the, in the body of the truck, which allows it to be easily accessible to the tiller cab, but also keeps the rear end of the truck narrow. Uh, we've got the forward-facing lights, which helps illuminate a scene, or if it gets into the tight quarters when you're maneuvering, uh, around other traffic or things like that. When you illuminate those, it aids the cameras that are right behind the wheel. Uh, and that way you can see just exactly the proximity that you are of, uh, of other vehicles and, and safety aspects of it. And then the tiller cab, we've got it designed where it's got heating and air conditioning. Uh, it, gets, uh, it gets warm, so the air conditioning uh, was uh, required to, for us to have and they accommodated it greatly. It's got a gas, he a diesel heater in it, uh, which helps keep the cab warm for the comfort of it. The seat uh, is very, very comfortable to be in. And uh, the way that we've configured the back and the ladder for access, it's easy access into the tiller cab. That's where the truck does taper down uh, to more narrow for the maneuverability. The scene lights, they light up the scene. Uh, the wheel and scene lights are uh, very effective in what they do. They rotate uh, and they've got the spot and flood on them as well. When we did the doors, we, took the, we chose the option of the roll-up door to paint the doors themselves versus those being the metal finish color, which helped uh, complement the truck uh, tremendously. It's got the double outriggers, uh, H-style outriggers for it, which give the stability of it. And then with uh, the 60 degrees of uh, angle on the tractor versus a trailer, it allows us to really get access and get up close to buildings and gives us the, uh, gives us the, the workability that we were looking for when we spec'd out a tiller truck. Different options you can do with the truck. We opted for some of the transverse compartments, which goes from one side to the other. And the tray will roll out and you can roll it out and access it, which is huge for being able to access the, the, the tools and equipment that you have, but you can also have it and it rolls out the other side uh, just as easily. So you don't have to walk around the truck to get a tool that you're looking for. You're able to, to utilize these trays. Works out real nice for us. And the, the amount of storage is just uh, one of the advantages of a tiller truck and uh, it worked out real well. So being a firefighter uh, at Tuscaloosa Fire Department, we appreciate the, the truck and we also, we do the work on the line, but we also appreciate the mayor, our fire chief and the city council for the hard work that they do to give us this equipment so we can offer and provide the services that we do for our community and our city. Uh, it's a 
combined effort, and uh, we just we appreciate their their hard work as well. So. I appreciate you watching and uh, being a part of this and we're excited about our new truck.